actually here at the Grayson Manor. Um, we're gonna be tasting whiskey, and I'm not sure what this is, but it actually tastes really good, some type of mocktail or whatever. And they gave us a weird token, weird or cool, whatever you wanna think. Ah! Hold on. They gave us this token, which is pretty cute, and um, it seems like they're letting people in by color of tokens. So let's see what happens. comes from two origins, one right here in the forests of Spain and the other in the American forests of Kentucky. And yeah. both are where we source the wood, we make our hat, and it drops to the ground. And then over time it sprouts, and then it grows into a little sapling which grows higher and higher into this majestic oak tree reaching 80 feet tall past the canopy. And then this tree is hand-selected by our master of wood, Stuart McPherson, to be sustainably harvested and crafted into our casks. Each expression is distinct from all this. So if everyone wants to bring your glass up, just have it to your chin. You don't have to bring it too close to your nose. And you'll already pick up on some. Definitely a little bite of citrus. Are there any other strong noses out there picking up on other aromas? Hello. Hi, What's welcome. this? So this is uh, inspired by the European oak and the sherry. So what we've done is we've created a dried fruit base and added a light smoked vanilla and salt to it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, kind of like some people say like a fruit roll up, similar consistency Ooh. to that. In order, we have the Macallan Sherry Oak 12 Year, which is also matured exclusively in sherry seasoned oak casks, but predominantly those made out of the highly porous Northern European oak. And the Macallan Triple Cask 15 Year, which is matured using European sherry seasoned oak casks, American sherry seasoned oak casks, and the American Oak X Bourbon Barrels. Now that we have a better understanding of how different cask types influence the whiskey's natural color, I'd like to try a little experiment. I want to see which of you can determine which of your glasses holds which of these two particular expressions. This is an exercise for the eyes, not the nose nor the tongue. So don't let me catch you tasting just yet. <laughs> it is widely held that our sense of smell is among those subjective of our senses. It might be that you smell milk chocolate and salty and a little smoky. The Rupert is the perfect complement to the richer, older flavors and aromas in the glass on your left.